All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of upgrade to my uh, um, T3 pack, right? Uh, this is kind of like, if you can catch my other video, this is like the uh, Beaver Tail uh, Eagles Industry Assault Pack. But it's uh, their version with slight differences. You can check out my other video. But I did want to do some upgrades. Um, unfortunately, it looks like... Now, I didn't try it on this. I tried it on another piece of material um, where I tried waxing, like with wax canvas thinking that might improve the IR or actually resolve the issue with IR reflectiveness, but uh, it doesn't look like that's working. Um, so, I mean, I felt like it was a good theory, but it didn't work out. But another upgrade I did want to do, and one of the things is I am going with the, the imitation uh, beaver, uh, not beaver, <laughs> the imitation bear skin fur, the bear fur uh, on the background, just so you can have a contrast in colors because I know lately I found it pretty good, pretty interesting that I was I neat when I was doing the, uh, uh, you know, the wool blanket, the army wool black one blanket, like you, you know, see in the Vietnam movies they usually have for boot camp, stuff like that, uh, in that era, those green wool blankets. Uh, now, it, I'm pretty sure it would be hard to see green on green, so, for, so the colors can clash, so you can really see this better. Um, I'm going with the imitation bear fur, okay? Um, which, uh, I am really into bear fur. So, um, that's something else I have around the house. So, <clears throat> let me see. So, for these, I had wanted to... Now, this was a upgrade that came with the bag that the previous owner did when I bought on eBay. Uh, he put these, these are just, he said they're like molly attachment, like padding. I've seen things like this on bags. I never realized it could be used that way. That, that, that's a pretty neat way to add some padding. I think that'll be a lot better than having this rough up your back, right? Um, okay, so let's see. I bought this. This is the, uh, I believe it was Windex. W w wind Let me see. Uh... Winex, okay. It was a Winex. Uh, oh yeah, it says on there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Winex Tactical Molly Accessory Pouch. Winex Tactical Molly Accessory Pouch. Okay. So it goes on the shoulder strap. Okay. So it says does a shoulder shoulder pouch. I got a two piece there, green. Now I don't know. I just basically went with the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. Okay, right away I can see it. The, the color green's a little off. It's a little different. I'm okay with that. Okay, and actually, my expectations were a little lower based on my on the picture and what I saw in the package. This is pretty good. Well, let me see. Clip feels a little bit needs some more robustness, I think, or maybe just needs some more fiddling with. Let me see. Okay feeling better now maybe just the first time there okay nice size pouch looks like it's adjustable I believe the video said it was yeah i feel velcro in there so it's an adjustable top pouch you can make that as high as you need and a zipper right here this gonna be good for some snacks or something you're doing some trail running okay now the big thing is am i gonna be able to attach this thing on here um now it looks like there's molly some molly right here oh there's even some strapping like this Right, some straps that go around horizontal and some vertical. Now it looks like I'm gonna need the horizontal, right? If I have this, so let me go ahead and attach that. It looks like it's a looks like it's a great size because my strap, if I start it there, it should go all the way to here. So that might be a good attachment. So the whole purpose I'm getting this this assault style bag um, is to use it for trail running, which I believe would be a great way to you're kind of repurposing army surplus i'm really taken from and like i said i know this is not army surplus this particular brand but um this is what they would use as an, as an assault pack so something you're moving around a lot probably running a lot like i need to carry water need to carry minimum stuff um and i'm adapting that to the civilian world of what you know uh just some recreational trail running um and let me go ahead and attach these in. And let's let's see if it's difficult. If you guys want to hold on while I do it. Um, now, I think 
This actually looks weird. I almost feel like that should be the that should be the bottom, but there's a clip here. Looks like it should be the other way around, but no, it's not. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay, that's that's okay. Let me get this in. I hope I had the camera right. I have a chest, like a chest rig, and I just realized I had to change the angle a little bit. So let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it out like that. Okay. Yeah, let me see. So okay, I'm gonna put this one this up here. Okay, now that's only being held on by Velcro. Now there's no way for me to put these. Well, I can attach it like this, right? There's no way for me to really use it through the molly that I actually have. So I'm going to just snap it onto. Okay. Now what that does, it kind of off-centered it when I when I snapped them. You see it kind of pushed the molly to one side. So it kind of off-centered it. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I'll just have to see how it works out. But I do feel like it's more secure that way. Um... I'll put the other one on and then we can see the video. Actually, let, let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me just go and put the other one on too. And then, well, you know what? Let me see what it looks like with one, right? That might be a good idea. Okay. Let me go over here. Well, that's pretty good. Well, yeah. Let's see. Let me add that. I'll come back. All right. So when I put it on, the top was kind of stick one to the stick up and I realized there's these little clips up here and there is a way to like kind of offset them and then clip them back in okay so it should be like that at first I thought this was broken because it's like this and has some weird shapes in the back and front but they do eventually go together so let me see if I can get this one like that actually took me a while I wasn't sure what I was doing but once we you get those clipped it should probably hold it down better all right I think that's looking good I uh, got it on one side right now so um, when I put those clips it wasn't like folding up it wasn't folding up it was it's holding it strapped on there better on top and the bottom so now let me see I mean you can put some power bars some in there anything going on over here this buckle it feels heavy when you touch it on this side but it's this feels a little light the, the thing you got to pinch the actual locking mechanism um now right now it's sitting a little weird on me but uh i haven't adjusted it yet when i go running with it i'm gonna probably adjust it like this and it'll be it'll be perfect i think that's a, a perfect fit let me see yep now I'm gonna try to put the other one on. I mean, it looks great just with one, uh, but I, why not put the other one, right? Let's see. Okay, I, f I figured out a different way. This time I'm really like pulling it this way to attach it like this to itself better. Okay, I think that'll be on the security. This felt okay, but that might make it a little more secure. I think last time I just kind of, I didn't loop both sides around the back. I kind of had the webbing in between the Velcro. So this will definitely be a lot better. I'm still running the Velcro. Uh, do actually, if I just run it, yeah, if I just run it down the middle, under the Velcro, it's not gonna push anything to the side. So I don't know if that helps anyway. No, actually, it seemed to have helped it when I did that because otherwise you're gonna get some sliding here. So let me just get it like this. Yep, that secures it. That really secures it. Okay, now I'm gonna attach the other sides and I'll come back. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about this look, having it on both sides. Uh, I thought it looked great with that one side. Having it on both sides, I mean, it makes you look like you have some weird crazy armor or something on, some kind of futuristic thing or something. Um, I think I might definitely, I mean, really the clips, to getting those clips on 
was hell on the fingers. It was ridiculous, okay? I did adjust it. I realized that these straps have, like, the Velcro on it. It looks, it looks like it's, like, I thought it was put together really good by the guy before me. But it's, like, it has its own little Velcro already, like, attached to the end of the strap. So you roll it up like that, and then you just Velcro it up. Um, but I think I would rather go with just one side like this. But if you want capacity, you could go both sides. I might leave it on there just because the clip's hard to get uh, off like that. But, um, I mean, to, to get on in the first place. But eventually, I might move this over to another. Um, unless I get used to and want the capacity. But you y'all got to see... The one side and now the two sides so uh you can see how now i'm not worried about ir on this thing um if i really needed to i guess i would have to do that chalk paint uh hack that people are putting on youtube you know um where you got to mix some paint with the chalk uh, i know keep it like an ir camouflage because it won't reflect so i could probably uh do that if I ever really needed to, um, which probably won't be ever, right? Uh, unless you're in some crazy situations or um, like we could take it to those like those things like One Shepherd or something, you know, those those leadership building you know, things. I don't know. It's more like you're having fun out there, I guess. I've been wanting to go with one of those, uh, seeing guys on YouTube. Um, all right, so now I don't know how this is going to work out. I've never had a vertical zipper like that. Like, I, I would be afraid, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I just put large enough things that it won't just fall out. Like, I'm afraid if I zip this, it's going to, like, fall out. But, you know, maybe it just depends on what you need to put there uh, in this. Now, I love now that I have a capacity up here. Um, the only thing is now I'm not quite sure um, – <laughs> well, what I would need to put up here. I mean, well, snacks for one thing, probably if you're trail running, right? Um, but yeah, I'll figure it out as I go. Uh, like I said, I would eventually want to probably just do one side. I move this to another pack, but you see how it looks. Maybe you would like to do that too. Uh, all right, sign off.